If the House votes tonight for an early general election, my tenure as Speaker and MP will end when this Parliament ends. If the House does not so vote, I have concluded that the least disruptive and most democratic course of action would be for me to stand down at the close of business on Thursday, October the 31st. Prime Minister has finished, and he can take it from me that he's finished. The Prime Minister will please withdraw the word idiot. You need to write out a thousand times. I will behave myself at Prime Minister's questions. Don't tell me, young man, from a sedentary position, what I can and can't say. If you're not interested, leave the chamber. I'm not remotely interested in your pettifogging objection, chuntered inelegantly from a sedentary position. Say no, says the noble and learned lady, the Baroness, whatever it is, I can't remember what it is. Nuji. Uh, what an extraordinary thing. Two things. First of all, we don't name call in this chamber. And secondly, secondly, I'm dealing with the matter. The right honourable gentleman will listen and benefit from listening. Secondly, we do not address people by the titles of their spouses. The Shadow Foreign Secretary has a name, and it's not Lady Something. We know what her name is, and it is inappropriate and frankly sexist to speak in those terms. And I'm not having it in this chamber. That is the end of the matter. No matter how senior a member, that parlance is not legitimate, it will not be allowed, and it will be called out... Order! The rights of my order! <laughs> the rights of my order! <laughs> However irritating the honourable gentleman... <laughs> be to government backbenchers, he has a right to be heard, and he will be heard, Mr Tim Farron. I'm, uh, I, am, uh, I am fantastically grateful to you, Mr Speaker. Um, <laughs> that when he turns up at our children's school as a parent, he's a very well-behaved fellow. He wouldn't dare behave like that in front of Colin Hall, and neither would I. Don't gesticulate, don't rant, spare us the theatrics, behave yourself, be a good boy, young man, be a good boy. By a foreign leader to both houses of parliament, is not an automatic right, it is an earned honour. That before the imposition of the migrant ban, I would myself have been strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. After the imposition of the migrant ban by President Trump, I am even more strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. I could not do so without the support of a small but superb team in Speaker's House, the wider House staff, my Buckingham constituents, and above all, my wife Sally and our three children, Oliver, Freddie and Jemima. Yeah.